Hi, everybody. I did this picture a while ago. In uh, It was a JPEG image that uh, I converted to a monotone, and uh, I wanted to let one color stick out. In GIMP, you have to use uh, layers, and I wanted to check whether I can do exactly the, the same with Darktable. So, actually you can, so um, have a look how I did that. So this is, I'm opening now the raw file. Here we go. And um, f first thing I wanted to do is to make the image a little bit brighter. It's a little bit on the dark side. I do that with the uh, contrast module. That's about okay. Right, so I can work from here. Then the next thing would be some masking. And um, I'm using the monochrome module first to, to uh, switch the image to monochrome. All right, add a color filter just to give the, the black and white a bit more contrast. And then I'm using a parametric mask based on the hue. I take a spot sample of the red color of the car. See how it looks now. So this is, this is the mask now. Everything is in the mask. And now I am reducing the color range to just get the red color. Here we go. That looks already quite okay. Now, there's still many red pixels around, and um, to do that, I do, I add a drawn mask. So, I change to drawn and parametric mask. Right, I do the, I use the lasso function. So, let's do the lasso just around the car. There you go. Just to isolate just the red from the car and cut out all the other red pixels that are around. Right, a little bit to go. And I mean, the, the wheels are black anyway, but it doesn't matter. I included them. Okay, here we go. So, now just the car is inside the mask. Now we have to find uh, the right mask setting, whether it's included or excluded. With two masks, it's always a little bit tricky. That's wrong. And um, that's still wrong. And uh, come on, still wrong. And here we go. This is now the red car in the monochrome image. Now what I'm going to do next is I wanted to sharpen the image a little bit to make it a, bit, a little bit more contrasty. I'm using the high pass for that sharpness to 100% and then the contrast very low to, let's see, what did I do? 5%. 5%, right. And then I do a parametric mask with the overlay. So, and now we add a little bit more contrast on the mask and um, we see that the image gets sharper. Here we go. Right. That was the high pass. So the next thing is I like to crop it a little bit to get it um, to the same size as the JPEG that I used before. Here we go. That's about right. And yeah, I can use I can use that. Okay, 
So this is basically how I did now exactly the same image in Darktable. Hope you like it and um, try it out yourself. It's